Okay, so this is a um, Mission Maker game designed for Year 7s uh, to teach them health and safety in a safe environment. Um, the player starts off in a small room with instructions uh, and they're able to explore. As you can see, they can open the filing cabinet, take out the paper, um, and inspect it from the menu. Unfortunately, the menu's been cut out because it's on widescreen, uh, but in the game, they can actually see it. Um, it's basically move the icon or move the hand and click, and it should activate the different uh, uh, primitives in, within the game. Um, and it's just teaching it, getting them used to uh, the basics of the game play itself. Uh, the first exercise here is clear the bags. Um, year 7s learned that they should never leave bags on the table or actually bring them into the workshop. The bags um, are on the floor and the uh, students' job is to um, put them onto the table. Once all the bags have been put onto the table, um, the door will open and they'll get uh, 10 points. Um, the the paper that was taken out of the filing cabinet, if you could have seen it, um, the video quality is not too good, the student would have seen uh, some clues as to what to do in most of these rooms. Um, here's a bit of fun that I added. Um, basically, uh, they never uh, year sevens aren't supposed to blow dust or smoke or anything, and uh, this is what happens. They click the fan to see if they can blow away the dust or the smoke, and of course. Uh, it starts a fire, so again, they take the water and, of course, if you put water onto a fire that's coming from the machine, you're going to get an electrical hazard. So not only is this actually testing them, but it's actually showing them what would happen in a safe environment if they were. Um, the image that just displayed was what happens if you go completely wrong and you need help, so you're getting a hint throughout, it, um, throughout the game. Uh, the emergency buttons in exercise 3 is extract the fans, if you can see it, and emergency power off. Now, if the student pulls the extract the fan, you can see that the smoke is sucked away. If they turn the um, if they activate the emergency cutoff, they can see that all the machinery has stopped. Um, again, teaching them what happens in an emergency situation when they push you from. No fighting, obviously, in school you shouldn't have fighting anyway, but in the workshop it's a lot more dangerous. So what we've got here is um, many students with ray guns shooting the student. Now I went through straight away and went to tell the teacher because I knew what the correct answer was. If you're caught in a fight, you tell the teacher. However, there is the option where you can pick up a ray gun and shoot the players. You do this, the gates open and more and more people come around. So it's more, of a, it's more fun, but um, I didn't want them to get distracted from the actual purpose of the game, which was to teach them health and safety. So if they do pick up the gun and try and shoot it, they um, will lose some of their points, they'll lose 10 points for every person they shoot, and they're not allowed to leave the room until they've told the teacher. So eventually they'll be stuck. Um, what's happened is I've had a conversation, a uh, dialogue with the teacher. The sound quality is terrible in the recording, so I've just cut it out completely. Um, basically what you're doing is you're um, listening to the teacher talk to you in English in this case, and you are replying to them. Um, once you've told the teacher, the teacher will take away the students with the ray guns and will open the door. You'll find that there's now a goggle box. Um, before, if you tried to walk through the smoke, you'd have been teleported back to the door. Um, only now can you go through, and now you know there's goggles. Unfortunately, the game, the Mission Maker design package, doesn't come with safety goggles, so I've had to use a box, I call it a goggle box, as in a box full of safety goggles, and thus I can walk through, or the player can walk through. Obstacles. Um, obstacles and running in a workshop are obviously very dangerous. In this um, simulation area, the player has to walk carefully over the obstacles. Obviously, we wouldn't advise them to do that, but it was the only way I could see to get the students to see the importance of walking in a workshop. Uh, this exercise is all about eating. Obviously, in a lab or in a workshop, you shouldn't be eating. You don't know what you're eating. Um, if your food gets contaminated, you can become very ill. So I've got a bottle of beer, probably not that appropriate, a can of Coke, a loaf of bread, and a hamburger on this table. If the student touches any of these, takes them off and puts them into inventory, 
the doors will shut. If they leave it, the doors will open, uh, stay open and they can go through. Here's a, another dialogue with a second teacher and the teacher basically telling the student to put the hairband on. The student replies, where's the hairband? He says, don't touch anything else, it's behind you. If you touch the gold, nothing will happen, it's too heavy to pick up. If you touch the walkman, it will explode. Because basically, you, if the teacher's told you not to touch something, it's normally for a reason, not because the teacher's bullying you. Um, so what we do is we continue with the dialogue here. Um, I'm clicking the uh, correct responses. The computer will say the correct response. So you've got your differentiation there. And I'm now going to the hairband. I'm going to click, um, take the hairband and put it in there. It's important, obviously, to tie your hair back or anything that dangles because um, you don't want it to get caught in the machinery. General knowledge here. What I've done is I'm just um, illustrating the the fact that I can have video and also um, pictures from the internet or from cameras. So how many safety problems are there with this DT student? There are three. The student takes the number three, drops it, and it should turn off the left-hand side. And the basically the water stops dripping on the power nodes on that side. We take the pencil here, and I'm gonna circle the area that is dangerous. And obviously the chuck key has been left in the chuck. Not a good thing and the water stopped dripping on the right hand side the electricity stops i can go through before i was demonstrating that you could get teleported back if you haven't answered the question correctly um, again we're making more points this is a bandsaw you're not allowed to use it it says don't use it the student does that the water turns on the water turns out the fire and we can walk through so we walk through and that's basically it that was uh, nine exercises um, fairly straightforward because I know the answers obviously um, but a year seven can have quite a bit of fun well up to 10 minutes of fun um, finding out how to use it they end up with the winning trophy it's good to get something and then a certificate will pop up saying take a photograph of this or a snapshot it will give them the score and then they can put that as their certificate that they've passed the health and safety exam